All right, we're getting ready to leave for the Kansas City. Remy, are you excited? Yeah. Daddy, hold it. Rich? Bring my four year old to go to the town this 12. Okay. Anything? All right. We're eating breakfast and we're getting on the road. It's family shed day. Locked up, hitting the road. You kids ready? Yeah. Yeah? Here we go. There's a little bear peat. Much better, she. Uh, thoughts on that move? Hey, Remy, Catherine, come. Ray, Ray, come here. What do you think about the shed hunt? Um, I mean, it like there. How many antlers are we going to find? Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Remy, how, how many would you like to find? Um, uh, four or five. Oh. You need to interview Ridge. Ridge, how many antlers do you want to find today? Um, ten. Oh, that's a good guess, buddy. All right, it's quite the operation getting this all going. There's like 16 of us now. Me and Milo were scooping today though. The goal is six. Ridge, is six the goal? Six sheds? What is it then? 10, okay, 10, 10 sheds. Historically, we've picked up 11 or 12 every year. Hi, Riri. All right, while the, the kids are awake and the women are with us, we're gonna work the highly productive zone of the 80 for sheds, which is the west side of the creek. Um, less stickers and pokey things in there too. So the realistic goal today is, is six or more. Doable? Okay. You wanna introduce people quick? I mean, people, right. some people know, but. We got my family, Therese and our three kids. We got the, the landowners themselves, Pop and Shoe. We got the we have the Bardsley family. Uh, they don't come here often, only when they're forced. Uh, and Mac is in with Cal. Let's do it. Nice spot, Dad. Nice. Nice job, Ridge. I have to look, I haven't seen.
I just found two in a row. Two what? What did you find? Two antlers. How did you find it? My mom helped with me, and she just saw it right in the path. Nice. Hey, give me nuts. Number nice. three, and what are we? 100 yards into the. Yeah. That's no, crazy. We may not be that lucky. We but found, that's awesome. We found one just, well, we found two just over there last year. So this is a really good section we're walking. Wow. You see one? It's one over here. Oh my gosh, Remy got one. Let's see, Remy. Hold it up for everybody to see. Hold it up into the sky. Nice. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, that could be a match. Ooh, I don't know actually. That's a. Oh, no, that's, yeah, that's, no, nope, that's, that might be a match. Yeah, it looks like. You think? It. Yep. This one seems to have curved over. Maybe not. Find in more than you thought. Yeah, I thought we would, we're lucky to scratch six. How many is that? Is that four or five? Uh, four. Four. Four sheds already. We're in the good stuff, but that is surprising. No. Oh, wow. What? Where are the big guys at? Oh my gosh. Where'd you find it? Right here. I got video of that guy. You do? Yeah. Wow. Really, isn't a Bunch of little dinks. Uh -huh. It's okay. They all count. Nice. Check out the blind. Do you like the blind, Ridge? All right. So far, everybody's been putting a lot of miles on my shoulders. We picked up quite a few antlers though, a bunch of small ones. Therese found a good one. Um, this walk, this was our most productive side. So that is the thing, moving forward. I don't think we were gonna find them like that because that's, that was we walked the food and some of our best travel areas on the 80. So we still have the whole east side to walk, which is great cover, but usually we don't find as many antlers. So we'll see. Nonetheless, great start. I bet we picked up, I don't know, five. Something like that, we'll round them up. What do you think, Ray? All right, time for some watch. Man, not a bad haul, but a bunch of dinks. You know, that's not a match yet either in there. We're after, we're after some slammers, you know? And we're after a big eight. Kelsey, we know a lot of the big guys are still holding. We got pictures of them this week still part one. still packing both sides yeah i'm sure we'll find a lot when we burn later in the later into march too but hey first half first hour and a half two hours Mushy, Mushy come. Where's your food bowl, it'll be a good second half here's our shed dog All right, getting into the southeast portion of the land. This year one was amazing. We picked up like five sheds back here. But ever since, we've had a hard time sneaking away even one. Not sure why, not sure if that's from different changes we made on this land over the years or what, but this used to be a guaranteed spot and then it's just gotten more and more difficult to find them here. But Hopefully you can scratch, scratch out at least one. <sighs> Shoot, I just spotted what I thought was a great shed and turned into a deadhead. Oh, Buck, I don't know yet. <sighs> no. Oh my goodness. No way. 
That's big eight. Oh my gosh. You are kidding me. No. That's sticker eight? Oh my gosh, that's sticker eight. You guys look at this thing. Oh my goodness. That's a five and a half year old we know very well. Unbelievable. Nate is gonna freak out. That's sticker eight. We haven't seen him since September. No, early October. Early October, oh my gosh. I think it's sticker eight. No way. Yeah. Dude, I think it's sticker eight and he is giant. I came over here because I thought it was a shed. Is that not sticker eight? You gonna film me? Yeah, I'm filming you right now. Give me your mic. What the heck? Who is that? That's a giant. That's him, isn't it? That is him. Here you go. Double mic. Well. Is it? I don't remember that. Dude, this is the only vibes it's giving me. It's either stick rate or it's a deer we don't know. But look at this deer. I mean. Five year old at least. I was just walking and and thought it was a giant shed, but I mean, look at that. He's he has all the characteristics of sticker eight, but I don't know if he is. Okay, starting up. All right. Well, Nate just confirmed from Trail Camp Picks. This is sticker eight, who turned into obviously a lot more than sticker eight. We've been chasing this buck since 21. I saw him last fall. Holy cow. We didn't, I mean, it was, it, was, it was the early October, right? That we saw him last? Or was it mid-October? No, it was when we got back from South Dakota, October yeah. 7. Yeah. Yeah, early October. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. We had two homebodies. We had this guy and Tommy, and I thought we might find one of them because we didn't see any of them. I mean, this guy, he's been dead a while. I bet he died. He was completely healthy when we saw him. He was completely healthy when we saw him, but look at that buck. Give some history on him. Um, the first time we ever laid eyes on him was November 1st of 21, right? Or was it 22? 22. 22. No, 21. That was your 21 buck year. Oh, yeah. 21. We saw him multiple times as a three-year-old. Filmed him. Yep. Four-year-old. 22. Did we see him? Didn't see him. He was actually kind of a ghost that year, but he came back through in December. Then we picked up his match match set that next spring, last spring. He was a prime target because we'd always get summer picks of him too. I don't know. He was our, I mean, he was, he was probably our best chance buck um, from the opener to mid-October. But that ends the story. I mean, not how you want it to end, but it is great to be able to know where he went because if he just vanished then it's hard that way too but gonna have to call up the board and get a salvage tag well we'll get a salvage tag for him and uh pretty crazy and probably just have the taxidermist clean up the euro a little bit and he'll live in the Kansas City shed as a reminder of what great five-year-old bucks look like and how sometimes it goes for them so hate to see it end this way but um, it is good to get closure
little windy, but that uh, that pretty much covers the ADM. I'm sure we didn't cover, cover every square inch, but walked most of the good stuff. So, so far that's one deadhead, sticker eight, five-year-old. Bummer to see him dead. Um, and then we had six sheds at the break. So another two, eight sheds, one deadhead. That's a pretty strong start. Still early, February 24th. So I am extremely confident we'll pick up more this season. Probably give it another three weeks before we walk it again. We had a buck that Thomas almost shot in uh, late November, yesterday morning holding both sides. We've had Tex holding both sides. Um, we've had a uh, bigger buck holding one side. So still a lot of antlers that are about four feet off the ground. So. Pretty good day for February 24th, but just a good family shed hunt. End with some uh, old Weber grill, some burgers. That's gonna be a wrap of the family shed hunt. Pretty good haul and still a lot of bucks holding. So we'll continue to do some management stuff and probably walk again in the next two weeks. So hopefully scoop a few more.